Hey what's good I'm Sadia and in this video I'll be unboxing and demoing the Xbox Go which is an AI sports gimbal. It's a really cool product that turns your smartphone into your very own personal sports videographer. We'll get into the deets in a bit but be sure to watch the entire video for the chance to win one. Alright let's get it unboxed. It's nice and bright on the inside and obviously I like it it's orange <laughs> and I like that the instructions for the initial setup are printed onto the box. But of course you still get a user manual with all of the necessary steps that you need to get started with a gimbal. And tucked away in here is a little pouch or carry case for the gimbal. Nice. Next we have a mini tripod so you don't have to worry about holding it the whole time. It can easily just sit on a flat surface. And finally the gimbal itself. As you can see it's foldable, just lift the arm up to unfold. It definitely checks off that portability factor which is always a good thing since this is something that will be taken out and about. It has a few controls that you can see here. So you've got the joystick to control the movement. The M is the mode button, which basically can be ignored when you're using the app. The power icon, of course, represents the power button. And right at the bottom, you've got the battery level indicators. At the back, you've got the camera shutter button. Then, of course, you've got the smartphone holder. There's a small notch also indicated by the label, which is basically the side where the top of the smartphone should be. So this is everything you get in the box. Oh wait, one more thing which I forgot, the USB-C charging cable, which of course is needed to charge up the gimbal. Okay, now this is everything you get in the box. In terms of folding the gimbal, you basically just fold it on. Simple. And it fits into the carry case very easily, as does the mini tripod it comes with, and the cable too. Mounting the tripod is straightforward as well. You can use your own tripod if you want, as the gimbal has a pretty standard quarter inch thread screw, just twist it into place, open up its feet and place it on a flat surface, just like that. So before it can be used, it needs charging. It has a USB-C port on the left hand side, so let's get some power to it. You'll need your own power adapter or you can of course connect it directly to the USB-C port in your wall if you've got one. It takes just under an hour and a half to charge and gives you roughly 3-4 to four hours of front time, which isn't too bad really. Whilst that's charging, let's download the app, which you definitely need to make use of the cool features that this has, such as automatic tracking, as well as live streaming. Now once you've got the app and the gimbal is charged, switch it on and then connect to it via Bluetooth. Then go into the app and add the device and you'll see it appear. Simply hit click to connect and you're ready to go. Now hit the recording icon and choose your recording mode. There's a few options here. For us UK peeps, soccer is the one you want for football, but there are other sports modes if needed. The app will ask for the field size and age group so it can shoot accordingly. Here you can see some demo footage as an example. And thanks to its motion tracking technology, it will follow the action so you won't miss that epic goal or that incredible touch and control. As you can see here, it's following the players and the ball and it's doing it all on its own. Mounting it onto a tripod and hitting record is about all you have to do then you can just sit back and watch the game without having to worry about running around to capture the action. This is hella convenient, whether you're a parent wanting to capture your child playing sports, a coach who wants to capture the team playing, or an individual who wants to show off his or her skills without needing to depend on another human to capture it. The app has a follow me mode for this, which you can use in normal or selfie mode, but this mode can also be used when capturing a team game. You may just want to track a specific person as opposed to the entire team and it'll do this all without you having to run around trying to capture them. Sweet. There is a limitation I should mention though. The app only lets you shoot at a max resolution of 1080p. It does have an option to shoot in 720p, but I'm not sure why anyone would want to do that. The other thing is, any videos recorded via the app will have a tiny watermark in the bottom corner. I'm sure Blink Tech Inc. will look to remove this in the near future, but it's pretty small, so not a biggie. Aside from that, this is a pretty cool product, isn't it? And you're probably thinking, wow, I could really do with one of those. Well, you may just be in luck because Blink Tech Inc. have kindly offered to give me another one to give away to one of you. I'll share instructions on how to enter the giveaway in a pinned comment below, but before you enter, be sure to have watched this entire video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, and if you wanna just go ahead and buy it, you can do so with my referral link, which is linked in the description below. Using it will give you a $25 discount, so be sure to use it if you fancy purchasing the Xbox Go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching. Peace.